Hi Pisces, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by M for the week starting 28th of September 2020. I'll draw two cards per day, seven days of this week. And yes, Monday, the 28th of September, and it's 10 of Wands for you, Pisces. Tuesday, Five of Cups. Wednesday, Ace of Rods. Thursday, five, um, Queen of Cups. Friday, Queen of Rods. Saturday, Six of Pentacles. And Page of Pentacles, Sunday. Knight of Rods. This is nice uh, situation that comes your way. It's plenty of situations that are coming your way in a sudden way. I mean, things get done with this energy of Knight of Wands, but in a kind of chaotic way. Kind of everything kind of goes random with this one. But it's good, at the end of the day, everything is jolly and happy and it's done, you know. Nobody knows how, but it's managed down there, yeah, it's done. Something related maybe to your career that comes up in front, you know, situation, presents itself. Action. <laughs> Ten of Wands with Two of Cups. Now Five of Cups with Eight of Wands. Ace of Wands with Four of Swords. Queen of Cups. Thursday with Page of Wands. Queen of Rods with Ten of Swords. Six of Pentacles with Three of Swords. Page of Pentacles with the High Priestess. No Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it seems that something related to your work, with you, related to your skill work, with the Knight of Rods, it is suddenness. S suddenly something comes your way. Job offer, whatever it is related to your job, to your skill. Situation presents itself. It's always, doesn't matter um, with this one, situation can come, or, um, can not just uh, with, with um, this one, it's not just one situation, it's uh, many things that comes your way. Something is unpleasant, something is pleasant, but end of the day, everything ends up being done and positive and good because this is rather jolly, good energy related to career, business. I see your money making, your skill work is there. You might be having a job opportunity or um, some opportunity to make money that kind of energy that you are having just before uh, just before this week just before this week and then we have 10 of wands somehow you burden yourself you put lots of obligation on yourself it's a lot of obligation goes with knight of rods right this one as i explained to you things are coming your way and you're accepting it and you oh i can do it this i can this place i can go no problem eventually you bring yourself on monday in this position that it's too much i mean you are managing but it, it feels a bit burden burden you know, you, you think it's no joy anymore. But, but, you do have these two of cups. Maybe you accept it, that it's going to be massive amount of work. With these two, where you, this is really balanced energy. You like yourself, you love yourself, you trust yourself. You are satisfied with yourself. Doesn't matter if you have lots of obligation, you, you took too much on yourself, it's all right. With you, you trust that you're going to manage. That's what you wanted. You know, once I've completed this 10 of wands, once I complete this, uh, once I drop this burden, complete this task, once I finish this project or this job or something, something that is burdening you, it's big, it's much day, you put a lot on your plate. But you will manage, you will manage, you understand, you trust yourself, that is your way. On Monday, you're completed, you drop the load, and from there, that is 
that's where, you, where you're heading. Doesn't matter, you took it a lot, you will finish it. Kind of you trust yourself that that's your way, that's the right way. Don't be afraid to take on a lot. No five of cups in your environment and eight of wands. This is intense energy. I mean, something is coming your way. Look at this two of cups stands behind this person straight. It really seems to me that what's your confidence, that what you do. It's a hard work there. You are doing something hard way. This is hard work standing behind you. Again, very intense. Lots of uh, ideas. Lots of work with this one. Intensity. With uh, things are exploding on this day. I mean, from early morning till late afternoon, you will be busy communicating, doing things. This is, I think, bring sort of sadness because doing things hard way or um, in a kind of it's a difficult down there for you. You are managing on your own, but you are composed. You know that this hard work that would bring you will bring you success. That kind of moment, Monday and Tuesday. Hard work, yes, but that what will bring me success. That kind of you trust yourself, you're very balanced with it. It's all right, you're proud of yourself, you trusting that it is your way. You don't have doubts about that. And there are these two cups. Even if you feel sad and tired and you, you think you are you're working too hard and nobody that to help you, maybe you're sad about it. It's your past there. Three cups are spilled. You remember that in your past you were hurt, but things are standing straight behind there. You do have something ongoing, and it's promising, very promising there. Things are very intense, lots of work, but it is promising success in the future. Ace of Rhodes is there on Wednesday. This hard work, it, it seems to me, look at this, you've got 10 of uh, wands on Monday, uh, narrowing down on that one, one idea. You will, perhaps, that's what I'm saying, perhaps you understand, once you get through, uh, through this hard work, this effort, massive effort here, you have prospect for yourself, but that one thing, it's coming up. You see your prospect, you are very passionate about that thing. You kind of, you're not sparing yourself. It's worth an effort. But now, you need some clarity about it. You need to rest, in fact. You are exhausted in here. I see you. It's not, it's not so clarity, but really exhaustion day. I mean, a lot on your mind. This is, everything is kind of hectic in here. And a lot, since you're influencing energy with this Knight of Rods, that is intense situations. But even many situations, maybe also many people that you are managing. It's good, it's active energy. It's fiery one. But I think on Wednesday it takes its toll. Ten of Wands. This is massive intensity. This is exploding with ideas. I told you. I mean, supernova there with ideas, with communication. You don't stop on this day. Make you feel like you, you're sorry about yourself. I mean, that you really work so much and all by yourself. Now, that is prospect. Yes, this is brilliant idea. This is something that you're passionate about. Promises, bright future, abundance for you. With Ace of Wands, offer is the prospect is there. But you are exhausted. Queen of Cups and Page of Wands, things are going well for you. I think you are managing with hard, hard, hard work. You are managing somehow. You are managing to put yourself straight. This is starting point. After this Ace of Wands, you are on the ground, on a starting point. Very young energy, but things are going on. This is already, this is reality. This is things are happening. You are very happy. This is, you know, like a child being happy to, to play outside with children. Being very happy. You cannot wait to go on with this, what you have started. These new things, I mean, you are very eager. You are very happy about yourself. That what you do on this day make, really makes you happy. Queen of Cups in your environment. Somebody who's there, 
uh, uh, because this person loves you like your mother, like your girlfriend or uh, boyfriend or anything. Somebody is there who loves you, very emotional, very kind of just looking at you, enjoying seeing you happy. You do have somebody like that on this day, on Thursday, with you. Somebody is enjoying to be with you, looking you so happy, looking at you being so happy. It could be you also, Pisces, that's your energy as well, that on this day, this uh, feeling like, like, uh, uh, like over the moon, impatient to move and work on that what you like, that what you wanted, that what brings this emotional security and stability for you. Finally, you've got things that are do going well for you, that you are very happy about, eager to do that. Very, very nice Thursday. All your troubles, all your troubles, finally gone. After, after, after hard work, after hard work, all your troubles finally gone. Somebody is on your side. Um, on Thursday and perhaps Friday, Queen of Rhodes now, somebody who's Aries, Sagittarius or Leo, some very fiery energy and uh, um, best friend, your best friend, somebody who really understands you, feels you. What do you need now at this point when, when you know, troubles are there over the last one, last sword in your back, but there is, there is new day down there. Something new, something new is on your horizon. It's coming, it's already there. No more pain, no more exhaustion, no more hard work. Closing down on it. Closing down. Queen of Rods is energy with you. Or, as I said, it could be that you're just embodying this energy, this fiery energy. This is very jolly. Yeah, I'm doing things. goes perfectly after Page of Wands. You know, also joy, enjoy, uh, um, this, enjoy this new idea, enjoy this new job, this new path of your career, enjoy it, feel it that is good for you, happily moving forward, that kind of energy with Queen of, um, Queen of Rhodes. Lovely together. I mean, you are really, it seems you were exhausted, you were really exhausted, but it's over, it's over. Now six of pentacles and three of um, three of swords. Something hurts you in here. Perhaps you are expecting there are some some very wealthy person in your environment. Now this is very wealthy person. Somebody who's got it from I know quite high status in a society. This one and perhaps you expected help. Somehow you feel that you're let down. Maybe you expected that this person's supposed to give you something, help you. I mean help you with money. You know, very wealthy person, but you were let down. You're very disappointed in this person. I mean, maybe it was, this is give and take energy. Maybe you already did favor or did something for this person, expected favor back. And this person just ignored you or you failed to return the favor. You're hurting here. You're really hurting. This person hurt you. You expected help from this person. This person can help you. It's rich. If it's about money, this person can help can help you. If you needed uh, um, advice, this person has knowledge, can advise you. You know, this person can help you, but you are disappointed. This person didn't help. What you expected from this person, you did not receive. It hurts you. But Sunday, we have Page of Pentacles and the High Priestess. High Priestess is your energy as well. Very, very... Um, very kind of Piscean, but, you know, very intuitive, feeling it, feeling it within your, your, your body, your being. In the page of Pentacles, there is new knowledge, you, you feel there is new knowledge that you need, this is learner. You will learn, you feel yourself, you will know, you will learn with time, time is working for you. You trust yourself that you can learn, you can know more, you can do it for yourself. You don't need anybody, you trust yourself. It's a young energy, you are at the beginning, but you can learn, you can make your life, you know it. With time, time factor with the high priestess, very nice. Uh, bringing your confidence back, trusting yourself, very nice, very nice, Pisces. I really hope that you're gonna enjoy your week. 
some good stuff are happening here related to your career. Enjoy it.